Working with Pinterest, Account Setup and Overview. This video presents an overview of Pinterest and details information pertinent to successfully setting up your Pinterest page for this project. You will create a new Pinterest account or you may use an existing account as long as required criteria are met. If you have not already done so, register for a Pinterest account. You may choose to sign up with Facebook. You will have to authorize Facebook to share information with Pinterest. Or sign up using an email account. After successful account creation, log in to Pinterest. After login, the main Pinterest page or home page displays pins from boards you follow along with suggested pins based on the settings selected during sign up. You may also notice promoted pins. To the left, Pinterest recommends friends to follow and gives you an opportunity to find more friends. This function is similar to the Facebook Find a Friend and will recommend people to follow based on who you are already following or, if you're connected to Facebook, friends that you follow on Facebook. The Pinterest navigation menu is located at the top of every page. We'll be exploring this menu from left to right. The first item is a drop-down menu presenting Pinterest categories. Use this to locate a variety of pins by selecting one of the topics. Keep in mind, when you start a new board on Pinterest, category options are preset for you to select and tag your board. This helps to catalog and organize your boards on Pinterest. Help links are located at the bottom of this menu. Included are Learn More About Pinterest, the Pinterest blog, Discover business resources and developer information, review Pinterest privacy and terms, and copyright and trademark information. Next is a Pinterest search box. To begin, click on the box and enter a term. If you have pins in place on boards, it may suggest topics based on your existing entries. As you enter your term, suggestions for pins and boards will display. Pick one of the topics to preview. A secondary menu option gives you pins. You can view all pins or just your pins, boards, and pinners. You can return back to the main page by clicking the Pinterest logo. Directly to the right of the Pinterest logo, is a quick link. Click on the plus sign to upload a pin, add a link from a website, create a board, and access the pin it button which Pinterest thinks is the easiest way to pin things from around the web. You will be using internet resources so take time to load the pin it button to your browser. Pinterest will suggest the pin it button recommended for your browser and provide steps for successful installation. I am using Chrome. Select Install Now, Add to Chrome, and when it's finished, a success screen will display and the pin it button is located at the top of your browser. If you already have the pin it button installed, you'll be redirected to the Pinterest goodies page with information about downloading the Pinterest app to your mobile device. Return to your main page by selecting the Pinterest logo. Next is your Pinterest account or personal navigation area. If you uploaded an image when registering, it will display your men with your menu. Otherwise, you will see the red Pinterest icon. Your Pinterest menu provides access to your boards, pins, and likes analytics if you've authenticated your page, find friends, follow boards, the Pinterest help setter, settings, and the option to log out of Pinterest. The last item is your notification area. 
you will be able to see the types of activity your page has generated, including repins, likes, and follows. Select Edit to revise your notification types. Be sure to save if you make any changes, and continue. Select your boards from the menu to view your page. Your Pinterest profile is located at the top of the page. For this assignment, your profile will include your name, basic about me information, a profile image, a link to your course blog, and a connection to your course Twitter account. To edit your profile, select the pencil. Verify your name and username. Your username is now part of your Pinterest URL. If you did not upload a profile image, do so now by clicking Change Picture, choosing the file from your computer, and updating the image. Your profile image should be square and no larger than 165 by 165 pixels in size. Images will be automatically cropped or stretched to fit the space. Include appropriate information about you, select the location, and enter your blog for the course as the website. Click Save to continue. To connect your course Twitter account to Pinterest, return to your personal menu and select Settings. Located below Basic Info and Email Notifications is a Social Networks section. You may choose to connect your account to any of the networks listed. The element required is your course Twitter account. Move the slide to Yes, enter your Twitter information, and save. With the overview and profile set up complete, you're ready to begin creating boards and pinning with Pinterest. If you need help, take time to review the second tutorial which features creating boards and pinning.